the Joe Rogan experience. So when you're, you got into stand-up comedy, when you first started doing that, what is the scene like in England? Is it, was there comedy clubs where you could go to an open mic night? Like we were, how do you, how yeah, do you we start were, your We career? were copying you guys. I, I think Lenny Bruce set up the more alternative version. Cause, but I still think in yeah. America, it's, it's always stayed kind of mainstream, but Lenny Bruce was definitely doing alternative. I noticed you got a lot of Lenny. I love that guy. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, and I played him on stage. And that was a wonderful thing. What to did you to. play him in? What was uh, it? Lenny. You know, the film was from a stage play. The Dustin Hoffman yeah. film? Really? That was a stage play. Dustin Hoffman was fantastic yeah. in that movie. He was so close. And the guy who plays him in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel that's, is very good as well. I know. That's very interesting, isn't it? Because I'm watching that and I'm thinking, okay, now I've, I've gone through the clubs myself, but I, I did mine in the 80s and mm -hmm. into the 90s, and that's in the 50s. Wow. And I, and I sort of take myself there. And then there's Lenny there, and I'm thinking, I know Lenny. And, and I play them. I used to die. Oh, God, that's me. Look at that. But I was, I was doing the stand-up. I, I, see, that's the photo wow. I, put to, I put that together. Now, that was, and I call him the Jesus Christ of, of comedy because as a Jewish guy, he died for, for us. To, to, died for us to give us the freedom of speech. Yeah. He died for freedom of speech because in the end, they, a little the bit of heroin killed too. I know, but the mixture <laughs> together, he shouldn't have conflated the two. Yeah. But he, he, he meant sure. that we could say what we wanted to on stage. Yeah, the Mrs. Maisel thing makes it a little... It's a little homogenized, like him, like in even his struggle. It's almost like it's no big deal. Are you are you in the latest season? Is it? Yeah. Is, was, is it three or two? two? Well, three hasn't released yet. They're no. filming it right now. Have I've I gone through it? both of them. It's really good. It's yeah. Really, it's, it's not accurate. Like historically, it's way off the mark. There's no woman who was talking like that back then. It wasn't. There was no Mrs. Maisel. Like no, she's, I I really liked it, and uh, it's interesting. She. Yeah. Like, Norm MacDonald got mad about it. We he? He's like, yeah, there was no woman like that back then. There was, she, there's no, it doesn't, I mean, we, it's a fucking show, man. The Hulk's not real either. There's yeah. no guy who becomes the Hulk. No. Can you enjoy it? <laughs> I really like Norm MacDonald. But I, I love him. Yeah, but I, I didn't have, there was a, she was swearing like a, like a soldier on yes. stage. Very quickly. Very quickly. Which that was, I found, I don't know how she ramped into that. And then she yeah. ramped down out of it. It was, that was something. Was and then she went to France and uh, one yeah. episode and, and did stand up that someone was translating. And I that thought, was weird. I have done it in French and I don't think I could have got that. I don't know why they, that seemed just seemed to be a slightly shark. Yeah, if not jumping a shark, going up yeah. to the shark and swimming around a shark. It was artistic interpretation. Yeah. They, they, they. It wasn't realistic, but it was still, it was, uh, as now, a person who makes a living doing stand-up comedy, I was willing to let that suspension of disbelief yeah. taste. And I like the, the, the sexual relationship. It's always coming back. The husband's always coming back into the frame. And, yeah. And his, and his fight there. Um, cause yeah, but no, I, I did watch it. I binge watch it all. That's what I'm doing now. I just mm -hmm. sit down now and I just watch everything. Yeah. And then I move on. Um, but, uh, yeah, Lenny, um, how do we get into Lenny? We were talking about something else, but anyway, you know, it's great. It was great playing Lenny. But oh yes, I, I was I was doing the clubs. stand up, and I was just told by director Peter Hall, "I'll leave the stand up to you." So I had no direction on it. So I just did it as close as I could to how Lenny would have done it. Mm. Did you listen to a lot of recordings? I did. That, that it's very b difficult for British uh, kids, or maybe even American kids of today, to know because he's doing a lot of hipster references, yeah. a lot of you know the Sophie Tucker references and there's a there's a Lawrence Welk is it the Welch? The, Welch, yeah. Yeah. We don't know those guys. So when right. he was doing it, cool, it's a Sophie Tucker and they're going, oh, I gotta look up Sophie Tucker. I had to look up the some of the punchlines right. or enough of the number of the references because you without the references you can't get it. This is a trick I do in universal humor that I take either huge references or explain my references. So that, you know, uh, Caesar everyone probably knows about Caesar and if they don't well, I, yeah, anyway. Well, so, as good as Lenny was, it's really hard for people to listen to that comedy today. It doesn't necessarily yeah. trans, it doesn't transfer. Well, you're talking about Nixon, and mm -hmm. you're going, oh, Nixon, Nixon. No, this, this is uh, Vice President Nixon. This is, yeah. this is Eisenhower's Nixon. Yeah. Different thing. Um, so he, I worked out that all my, all, nearly all my stuff is non-datable. 
is no, I don't do any topical stuff. I don't do party political stuff. Mm. So it should not date. I do historical stuff because that never dates, you know. Right. Caesar is not going to come back. Now Caesar's changed his whole thing. He's much nicer now. He's come back from the dead and he's, he's cleaned up his act. Um, so I've, I've tried to do that. And Python did this as well. You do stuff, it just doesn't really date. Most of it doesn't date. Um, which is a handy thing, so the, the stuff can yeah. stick on. But, but I did much stand up does, and it's yeah. also the 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 culture is so significantly different between the late fifties and sixties, where Lenny Bruce was sort of starting out and making his mark versus today. Mm. It's like the things that were naughty back then, the mm. things that he could say that were controversial. They were nothing today. They're, they're literally a, it's a non controversy. Well, there was one that that still was was when he said how many. People using the N word, the and S word, you know, he just mm -hmm. went to all the, yeah. the how many are in racial the epithets. Yeah. How many there were. And I did this. I used to do that on stage every night. And that, uh, that was still a striking. Tense. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, but the, the sentiment behind it was that these words only have power because, because they're we give them forbidden. Power. Yes. And if you could use them again and again and again, yeah. it would do, and uh, for the gay community, they taking the word queer, they mm -hmm. reclaim that yes. so it doesn't have the force anymore. And yeah. that, is, that is a truth. He, he spoke, a, he was, that was a true analysis that he did. Yeah. Yeah, it was... Um, we had some, still, jo there was a... a, a Unfortunately, accidentally, a friend of mine stole one of his jokes and didn't know that he, he actually just thought of the same premise. Yeah, and he was the the, the premise was that uh, homosexuality in some places is illegal. And what do they do if they catch you? Well, they lock you up in jail with a bunch of men who want to have sex with you. Like, and that was Lenny Bruce's line. Back, like, dig homosexuality is illegal, right? So what do they do? They put you in jail with a bunch of men who want to have sex with you. You know, like that was his whole like, and like that still would work today. Like, if there was a place where homosexuality was illegal today, and you did that joke, it's a good joke. It's like set up punchline. It's all right there. 